ask us. Have you ever been mistaken for a man? No. Have you? <laughs> oh, that's good. It is too bad. This is my baby. Yeah, yeah. The dog is here. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. The dog is here. Shut up. Hey, what's up, everybody? Welcome back to my channel, and thank you for joining me. Uh, I got an interesting topic for the day. Uh, let's talk about uh equality, femininity, and and what feminists want but are not capable of having. That was a lot. That was a lot of stuff. Okay. Uh, now, you can figure out where those fit into what I'm about to talk about. There is no structure to what I'm about to say. I'm going to just go. We're going to follow this train. Let's go. Choo-choo. Here we go. Uh, you think back to the uh, Bible. Okay. Now, first off, the Bible, to me, is a book of lessons. Let's say that Somebody wanted to tell somebody something, but instead of outright saying it, they made a story about it to get the concept across without coming off like you're trying to teach somebody. Something like the boy who cried wolf. In this story, you got a little boy who played so many games and, and made the people think something was happening that wasn't happening to the point that when it did happen, nobody knew or believed that it was happening to where it could have been avoided if the boy would have not been playing in the first place. That is a good lesson. That is the story. That is how you teach without teaching. The same with the Bible. Don't look at it as, oh my God, somebody gave this to me and I have to follow it and all that. No, because then you put it in the context of a textbook. We Don't think of it as a textbook. Think of it as a children's book. Nursery rhymes for adults and children. Let's continue. With the Bible, you have a story about Adam and Eve. And you have a story of the consequences of eating this apple. Okay, so they at first they start off there wandering around this garden of eating and they're butt naked. Okay. To and God told them that you can have everything up in this and that is irrelevant to the story. We're gonna focus on the butt naked part. Neither one of them noticed that they was butt naked, so they was able to casually move about each other without the insecurity of what my body looked like. There were no mirrors. No mirrors. So you couldn't look in your mirror and see something wrong with you. You didn't think like that. You thought you was perfect. Okay? Now, I was watching this movie, uh, Alien... Aliens. I, I don't know where it falls in. I think it's Alien 2. That's what it is. I think it's Aliens 2. This is the one where Ripley wakes up and she realized that uh, she, she slept for a long time and she has to go back to the uh, LV2 something and uh, she has to uh, help them do this. Anyway, there's a scene where when they wake up, she walks out of her thing or her pod after she comes out of cryo sleep or whatever. And then she uh, walks out and all the men and the women get out together. Some of the women are naked, uh, like in between uh, panties and uh, T-shirts and panties on. OK, they got their T-shirts and their panties. They, they looking sexy. You get what I'm saying? You got the men in boxes and stuff like that. All of them are walking past each other. Okay, I would reference this to the Garden of Eden back before we... Okay, now, I'm not going to go so close as to saying that, no. But I will say that is what feminists would love to happen. That is not what's going to happen. See, in, in that scenario, you have Ripley, which is a woman in essence. She is a woman in essence. Full woman. Feminine, femininity 
She has it. She is she is beautiful in her gracefulness. She is good, okay? And when the going gets tough, she's able to get tough with it. She is not looking at her body from a sexual, oh, I need to fix my body as Eve was before she ate the apple and then she figured out that she was a woman. She walks past the men in her t-shirt and her panties on. They look at her. She isn't thinking about that. Maybe she thinks that it's natural. Or maybe she knows in her heart there's nothing wrong with her body. Therefore, there's nothing wrong with looking at it. You get what I'm saying? See, that is the that's what's missing with feminists. See, you talk a good game about being a strong, powerful woman, but when push come to shove, you fold because you know that what you're doing is is bringing so much attention to you. That's crazy, right? You get me? You wish we could all walk around equally like Ripley. Uh, she being a woman, men being a man, and we coexisting and everything is nice. That would be nice. But see, women are too busy looking at themselves and seeing things that are wrong with them. You get what I'm saying? When And then at the same time, I'm not going to put the blame on men. Men are in hound dog modes. They are dogs. I'm sorry to say, but men are dogs. I wish that we was we could cohabitate in a way that it was natural for us to just walk amongst each other in our natural forms that would be nice and when men grow up and when women grow up that will be possible but see we're so busy focusing on the physical and not the mental when you get down to the essence of sex and what is its true purpose is you would know that mm, it's just another mechanism of life. That's it. Why do I have sex? Procreate. Oh, why does it feel good? The ejaculation. I I don't know something. The uh, the uh it it something something. I what's the word? I can't remember the word. It uh endorphins or something like that. They shoot through me. That makes me feel good. So it's coming. You get what I'm saying? That's basically what it is. And I can get addicted to it like anything else. And a lot of men out there are addicted to sex to the point to where it is not possible that we can walk amongst each other in our true form. It would be nice that men would grow up. Me personally, I'm not even going to lie to you, dude. Uh, it was a chick that walked into a, a place. I was walking out of this place after I ordered me a hamburger. She didn't have no clothes on, and it was nighttime. Men was all over the place, and she walked through butt naked. But mm, I walked. I was walking out the door. She was walking in butt naked, nothing on. I looked. It's just flesh, and I kept going. I didn't look back. What? Okay, I've seen breasts before. I've seen ass before. It. I'm not even gonna lie to you. This world, man. Uh, I, it ain't even no simp in me or nothing like that. I love sex. I love to, but it's just a mechanism for, for, but. People don't know how to get past their animalistic stage, their animalistic nature. And because they ate the fruit, Eve ate it, shared it with Adam, man and woman. Now we too insecure about natural body functions. You get me? I got to go to a bathroom when in truth, this whole world is my goddamn toilet. You get what I'm saying? But no, I have to hide my phallus. Phallus. I was going to say the other P word, but I'm going to hide my phallus. You get what I'm saying? Because it's inappropriate. You get what I'm saying? And in truth, it it is in our society. These are the rules that we cultivated. I get it, understand it, and I follow them to a T. 
What I'm saying is that we we should basically be beyond that. We already know what people have underneath their clothes, but I guess the the it's the clothes that make it so that we don't get to see it enough to where when we do see it, it's so arousing. Go back to our African nature and our African roots, then you would understand that shit, we walked around with saggy titties and big titties and big butts and it was nothing. Why? Because hmm, it's natural. It's natural. I was reading a book. I, I, I like fantasy books and they have centaurs and stuff. And in any most fan, uh, fantasy books, just like Kyron in uh in uh Pierce um uh, Pierce Jackson and uh, Lightning Bolt Thief, uh Kyron is a smart centaur and stuff, and he has the body of a horse and to them the natural body function. He'll pee whatever he want, he'll shit whatever he want. But we're humans and we're pat we're we're somewhat past our animalistic natures and yet we're still stuck in animalistic forms. <laughs> doing animalistic things and stuff like that. When we evolve in our mind, we will be able to walk around butt naked amongst each other. And it would not be no fornication in the streets. We'll still be able to function like natural humans. We'll just be closeless. Uh, I will go into evolution and why we ain't got no hair in our skin, but I don't, we'll talk about that another time. Why we ain't got no hair on our skin and, and how clothes has taken away that function. We'll talk about that another time. Anyway, that's the video for today. It would be nice for us to be able to walk around butt naked and miss feminists and love each other just like in that alien movie, but we can't because mm, y'all too busy looking at yourselves and seeing all y'all blemishes and thinking that it's something special like nobody else had it before. Anyway, bye.